All right, so I just received this ZL7432, and I'm going to go ahead and open it up, give you guys a peek at it. So first thing I notice here, we have some instructions. I'll scan that and post it in the description. It's a little snug here. All right, so a lot smaller than I expected. The pictures online don't really do it justice. You can see the uh, the cables. So I have a quarter here for size reference. And it's just a little bit bigger than a quarter. Alright, so let's go ahead and open this thing up. On the top there you can see there's a little button. Uh, it doesn't really look like a button, but... So we'll open this thing up a little... Give it a little nudge here. Uh, so it looks like we have two relays here, a power supply, relays right there, power supply. Looks like a couple power controllers, capacitors, nothing too big, low power. Uh, Z-Wave module. Let me go ahead and see if I can get this sticker out and show you guys what that says. I'll just put this here for safekeeping so I don't lose it. Trying to see if I can see the writing underneath on that Z-Wave chip. I don't know what kind of module it is. It looks like a module kind of soldered on onto another board. Alright, well, I don't think I'm going to be able to read that. So here are the two relays. Um, I kind of expected 15 amp relays, but I mean, for the size of this thing, it's not unexpected that they're smaller, 7 amp relays. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and close this thing back up, and we'll go back to the basement so that we can go ahead and wire this thing up. Okay, so we have it all wired up. I have the Samsung Smart App opened up so that I can scan for the devices. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, power off the system. There is a little button inside, which I'll show you in a second, and you just hold on the button until it triggers a reset. Once the light's blinking, you can click it four times to get it to show up onto the Z-Wave network that you want. You may also try turning on and off the switch four times. And there we go, so we have it showing up. So I'm going to go ahead and save these two devices here. So this is a two relay switch. And let's get a closer look at how this works. So I can flick this light switch on and off leave it in the on position. I go ahead and switch it off from the app and the switch actually acts like a toggle so instead of how it would normally say on and off on the physical switch itself um, that no longer matters. So you can turn the switch off and then on the app turn it on and then off again. 